Hello, I am Caroline Kutteri. I come from Dresden, from East Germany. I'm an art student now and I just finished my diploma work of my art study. And now I'm going to be uh, in the master class of the fine art. And I also live in the Netherlands. I live in both countries. I'm changing the places sometimes. And this is also important for my artwork because in Dresden I, I create my artwork and in the Netherlands I'm working in a big garden project. And this garden project uh, inspires me and both parts, they are, yeah, go in, flow in each other and this creates my artwork. Now we are standing in the room of my diploma work. I decided to um, make an installation, a perceptual installation. So the installation is meant for the senses of the body. And the main topic of the exhibition is the awareness of the nature, how we act with the nature. I also showed um, at the paintings, there are three climate activists, Lisipriya Kangucham, uh, Ashnaya Atsara, and Sapya White. They are climate activists from different countries and I painted them in a, in a little bit like an iconic style. So I painted them also like a, as they are, or they are a little bit holy. The name is uh, the Earth Room. First it had another name, but then uh, during I built my diploma work, there was a very big problem because uh, here's also earth in the room. When it came into the room, it was very fresh and it was a very hot day. And the smell was so um, extremely that the whole university smelled like a very fresh field. The next day I came in the university and um, there were some people from the staff who were very annoyed by the smell and they wanted me to bring out the earth very fast. I said like, no, the earth stays inside because the earth is a part of my diploma work and the smell is also a part of the diploma work. Nevertheless, the people were very angry and they made, the, uh, at the second day when the earth was in the room, they made a big meeting with the um, boss of the university, the director, and then they decided if it has to go out or in. I was also not invited in the meeting, <laughs> but I had a big luck and the rector, he said like, no, we will give some time. He thinks the smell goes out. At the end it was fine and it could stay inside, but it was a little challenge <laughs> for me as an artist to stand for my art and to fight for the art and to say, no, it stays inside. Another challenge for me as an artist is often the, the people um, who cannot understand why I chose this way of life, why I'm doing this, why I don't have a job as everyone and um, why I want to stay with so less money. Uh, what is with my pension <laughs> later? Why I don't have children? Why I'm not married? Uh, yeah, why I do art? What is the sense of it? Some years before I, I started with dancing and then I danced a lot and then I trained a lot um, to become a good dancer. But then some people also in the art university, they could not understand why I study art and suddenly I start to dance. And some people, they thought it's not uh, combinable, <laughs> but it is. In Dresden we have uh, two less studios for artists or for musicians, especially for artists and musicians who just start their career. So I found some people, some artists, I, 
we became friends and we decided to uh, create a house for, for artists and musicians. We found the Hanse 3 in 2014 and since this time it grew up. It's an intercultural place for, for artists, for musicians, for I think all kind of people who do art. Yeah, and it's also a studio house. If I could give someone an advice who is very in the beginning, I would first, I would say, if you study art, it's always important that you don't stay only in the university. It's very good to go outside and to look for projects outside because relations are very important in art. I think it's the most important thing that you go often to exhibitions or that you take part in projects, that you talk with a lot of people. And I would also give the advice, please try to stay strong and stay with yourself.